Well, hey guys, and welcome to another episode on our Barney family YouTube and Facebook. And as you can see, I have no idea what they're doing. I've up. You set up a trap, a trip rope. And look at that woman over there, you guys. What are you supposed to do with her? No idea. But yeah, we're, we're up here at the uh, stables just now, and it might not look like much at the moment, guys, but this is our stables um, going up now. Um, for Emily's future horses. Down there, hopefully you'll see, they're the doors, then we like barn doors. We'll get to construct them and lift it up like that. It's gonna look absolutely fantastic. Yeah. And we just acquired all this wood here. The guy was throwing out. So I think we're gonna use this for the, there's a hay store that's gonna go in this part here. And actually that's the trailer we're gonna be using, aren't we guys? For the bales. So I need to measure the trailer going in there. This is going to be the walls for it, it'll be like a, a lean-to. Then we'll always have the roof up on top of the stables. But yeah guys, so plenty of videos coming. Of course guys, if you're just watching for the first time, we do like motorbike vlogs, don't we guys? Scottish tours, DIY stuff like this. Cars, bikes and boats. Obviously I'm quite a big biker, so we're out in the bikes quite a bit and stuff like that. Um, and I think coming up this year we've got a lot of wild camping to do, haven't we son? Uh, caravanning, fishing. Goodness me, just about everything actually, yeah. So yeah, so please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit notifications. And as always guys, David and Emily have got three kids channels. And the main channel, so there's loads and loads for the Barney family, you guys. So I really hope you enjoy. And here they go again. Go for it, my boy. <laughs> I like it. Oh my goodness me. That's pulling uphill. Come on, Hossie, pull. Pull, Hossie. My goodness me. Yeah, so we basically got to build a fit Trixie. That's the little trailer here. Um, into this space here. But of course, the size will be dependent upon the bale of hay. And I think what I'm going to do is cut this trailer right down. So that obviously, you know, when we go to the farm, the guy can just fork on the big bale, that means I can just reverse it in there. Once it's empty, it'll be an easy pull anyway. And that means we never really have to shift a bale by, God forbid, by hand or something like that. Goodness me. So I think what we've actually just got here now is enough to do that whole hay store in here. I really do. Yeah, so Emily's field-wise, look guys. You'll see that a lot of the new growth starting to come through again. Now that it's coming to about this, we're going to go over it again which will hack away all this old rubbish as well and let even more green grass come through. So it looks like I'm going to be up here with the strimmer doing a major, major job, but I really enjoy that. It's very satisfying and not very tiring, actually. You know, once you've got the once you've got it balanced on your strap, just back and forth, take your time. So as you can see, this is all coming back through again. Look, see if I can get all these middle bits just ripped away, let the new growth come through. It's summertime, I want to be careful, don't get a blisteringly hot day though, or we're stuck, you know? Yeah, so let's give you a quick look as well. Now obviously guys, what we're doing with these is we're making barn doors. And they're easier to do, you know, when you lie them flat, just to get them absolutely perfect. And obviously we're putting the cross parts, like that, to make them like that, that'd be awesome. And then at the end, I've left a gap, look. And we'll get the ripsaw right down through that, and that'll half the doors. And they should fit perfectly. This seems to be the, the easiest way to do things. Yeah, so we'll still kind of look like we're in a real mess, guys, but I'll tell you, this has been a lot of work to get to this stage. And getting that is just unreal. It really is. Now, here we go. Luna's getting a little bath. How's the water temperature, guys? Mm -hmm. Nice, just... Yeah, it's the right temperature. Just needs a wee bath, a little soak. And she'll be fine. Look at her, little Luna. She is the cutest little thing ever, isn't she? Here we go. Here we go. I think Spiko's still sleeping, isn't he? Yeah, we'll have to do that. He could be down. Oh, yeah, dear. we'll bath him tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, good girl. A little girl. She's there. It's a lovely wee thing. Yeah, look at her. Looking her eyes. Mm -hmm. I always love to catch her. Oh, that's better. She, she's all wrapped up, guys. And so we don't dry her. She'll just dry. She's with in a, a little burrito. She, yeah, she'll just dry with a burrito. 
Oh, yeah, my darling. Oh, yeah, lovely yeah, little yeah, fish. Yeah. She's in a potato. No. She's just a little darling, isn't it? Don't you, baby? Hey, we'll get you going. Welcome it's to. It's morning time. It's so apple juice. Blapple now this is just to show you, Emily isn't crazy all the time. Look. I put all the ice cubes in it! It's Saturday morning chill, isn't it? Every Saturday morning. I've got the power washer, I'm heading out to go wash the car. But she's not, look, chill, look at her. No, I'm not. I'm maybe I'll maybe I'll just hyper and all that. Oh my god, boy. Cool. Uh oh. oh Bad three second rule. Goes. Good boy. You go from you one there. And he's off. He's off. Oh, right into it. He just bounced straight into that chair. I've never seen him do that. What happened there, Spike? He crashed. Did you crash? Hey, did you crash? Look, you just run straight into it. Do you want me to move out? Oh, Spike. You can't be that lazy. Look, off you go. <laughs> well, way at the back. And there's the young man. We're just getting the 1200 bandit ready for its uh, inspection so we can put it on the road, eh, son? And this is our YouTube bike, as you can see. There you go. And there you go. And obviously, you like to take vehicles for their inspection when they're really clean. Really, really clean. So, David, and of course, guys, it's a custom paint job. So, I wouldn't be using anything abrasive or power washing. Um, just hand, hand clean. It only takes 10 minutes, but it's Is well worth it. on the seat? Yeah, I think we're going to have to get a new seat. That one's. So the bike's 22 yeah. years old now, and that's probably the original seat, isn't it? Oh, sorry, guys, old shadow. Yeah, she's looking good. So we take it out for a run before the MOT just to blast the engine out and then pop it off to Tom's and we'll see what happens, eh? Yeah, so we've already cleaned the fire blade, but it's going to go next, doesn't it, son? Get the MOT sort of straight after the bandit, but we want to get the bandit done first and then we'll crack on and get the fire blade done. Right guys, so that's us in the car now, isn't it? It is really hot in Elgin just now. Oh, really how, how, how hot is it? Um, 24 degrees. 24 degrees. Now a lot it of you guys from, I know, might think that's actually quite mild for you guys, but this is very hot for us Scottish people, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Very, very hot. In America, that's 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah. So listen guys, thanks for watching. We're just going to head off to a place called Cammingston Beach. A lot of caves, rocks and rock pools and stuff like that and it is a beautiful day overlooking the, the Murray Firth so it should be a very very cool uh, video but let's get going and we're off so basically just a 10 minute journey again as always seeing these videos guys um, Dave, David and Emily have got their own Barney Family YouTube channel it's called Barney Family Fun and you've got your main channel haven't you then there's the YouTube Shorts channel on the gaming channel. So if you've got kids, they do just about everything, don't you guys? Just about everything. Now last time we used this particular camera on this road, it actually overheated with the sun. So I'm not really sure how to solve that one other than use a different camera. And Emily's horse field is off to the right on the Ems. Yeah, we're looking at um horses this year, rescue horses, we're getting very close, it's stable, half built, field's kind of almost ready, so I'm just going to try and get finished off, eh? Half built, not half painted. It's half built, it's not painted yet. That's what I really have done, it would be when we started. But remember, oh, but remember, we have done this, we got all the way so far for free, haven't we? Crazy, and of course, Emily is the. the I was going to say, we are going to the world here at World uh, Clydesdale Show, aren't we? The horses, so they're coming to Aberdeen in October, so we'll be doing that as well. But that is pretty cool. Hi 
had you guys out this road a few times, those of you that follow us. We've been out here a few times. We'll take a look at that today, isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that just amazing today? You can see right across the other side of Scotland there, look. A wee bit of a breeze, but really nice. So as you can see over there guys, that's Hopeman Harbour. And obviously just past that's the beach we normally go to. But we're coming down to Cummingston this time. And it's got caves and everything. This, this place is awesome guys, you're really going to like it. Yeah, so sorry about the wind. Should be okay when we're down there. But um, it's been windy for like two full weeks. Whether it's been raining or sunny, it's just been really, really windy. Let's get ourselves down here. And this used to be the old railway, the old coastal railway. Down here now it's like a, a proper walk, you know, you can, goodness me, you can walk for miles actually, if I can remember. Maybe do that one day too. Yeah, that'd be nice up there, eh? What a beautiful view all those houses have got up top. Yeah, off it goes though. And as you can see, look, the tide's all out, so it uncovers all the rocks and seaweed and rock pools. It's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And down we come. You should know, you're supposed to be country folk. There she goes again, look. David's away. It's just such a phenomenal place, guys. So that's uh, what you've got up there is Barghead. We're in Cummingston just now. And you can see cave, cave, cave. And I think the last time we actually came here, I tried to go and do these caves as a bit of a vlog, but the tide was too far in. So hopefully this time we'll give you a, a really, really lovely view. Yeah, and of course way down there's Inverness. Way, way, way down. And then that's the northeast coast of Scotland, running all the way up to the far north. And Rosemarkey is probably about there. I could be wrong, but about, about there somewhere. Yeah, so let's go have a look around. And of course when the tide goes out you've got these lovely rock pools that come up and you know because the sun's hitting them for so long that rock pool is probably really really warm I would think. Yeah. I'll take it out though. Hopefully this is nice and relaxing. And uh, guys you know sometimes seeing these videos you know that I know what it's like to be housebinder in hospital. I almost like I feel that any of you guys are watching just now from that place enjoy it, you know? Let me get cold or wet or trip or something, you know? And just enjoy the enjoy the view. But look at that when the tide's out. See all that rocks. And of course most of them will have crabs hidden in behind them somewhere I'm sure. Well there's a dark one down in there. I wonder if I've got a big crab or somebody in the side somewhere, but it's pretty deep. I don't think I can even put my horn down. Yeah, so this would ordinarily be, it'd be waves crashing over, but mostly sort of underwater. That's a tide, it is kind of way out at the minute. Yes, look at this. Again, I'm not sure the wind's kind of affecting us just now. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Let's try and do a bit more to my back to the wind sort of thing. Not just gorgeous, look at the seaweed. Lovely flat bit area area there. I wonder if we got any flat fish mulling about. Usually I'd take the fishing rod and stuff, but we're really we're just here for a couple of hours. <coughs> Always nice to catch something though, or even just get a line in the water is nice, you know, for you fishermen, you know what I'm speaking about. Nice is to get a line in sometimes, even if you're not tremendously hopeful. Ah, up we go. Yeah, I'll take you over there shortly, guys. Girl's going for a swim. So yeah, see when the tide comes in, you've got this 
lovely bit you can jump off, look. And you know there's no, you obviously know there's no rocks down there as such. But uh, yeah, pretty deep. Where's Emily and David gone? Must be still over there. Now I'm hoping this will focus in at a great distance here, look. So we can see across the water. You'll see it going all the way up and then it starts getting shrouded by the, the mist up top. It gets a bit cooler away up there. Yeah, so let's hit these caves over here. I'll work my way around the, the big caves. Never got in them the last time, I don't think. And there's obviously one up top as well. There's the two older ladies away over there. The young girls are down there. The guy fishing, I wonder if he caught anything. Yeah, again, this is tight out, obviously. It's right up to a bit there. So it's pretty deep. You can jump off there quite easily. It's really nice. There's some fortunate people heading off, like, in their holidays somewhere. So go on. It's going west, isn't it? Aye. There's our wee pool from earlier. Just keep an eye, I'm just keeping an eye on my feet here. Nice and grippy when you've got trainers on when it's dry, but when it's wet, no. Up we go. There's a carved out channel up here that most people use as a bit of a path. We'll get to that in just a second. Look. There they are, look away over there. Doing that thing. Yeah, it's just a quick one up top here because it is pretty windy. It's them over there, look. I thought it would look kind as well, down on the rocks and stuff. There you see. See the crab pots out there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, there's crab pots right the way along that part there. And you can see it's all darker blue, so it's obviously a bit more rocky and seaweedy where the crabs like it. And that's where he's stuffed his pots. No point in doing them any closer. Right, I've lost Sharon now though. Have you guys seen her? Where is she? She's some of the food and the drinks here, people. Yeah, so you'll see just how far in it comes. It can obviously go higher. Um, but as you can see it goes out, you'll see the water line. So it's really, really nice. There's a good old bark head away up there, look. Yes, yeah, so that was Sharon just over the back of there. I'm just going to come down just quick to check on the kids. But look, they're liking this because I think they're going to for themselves, look. My oh my. What a pair. It's a slight breeze. Look, this is where the fishing boats used to, herring boats actually, used to come in up, up this part here, but obviously all that's gone now. Probably hasn't been in use for like oh, 70 or 80 years maybe, I don't know. Oh, did you walk up that bit? Oh, well, go for it again. Here she goes, little Miss Muppet, sat in a tuffet. I know, little Miss Muffet, 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 can't remember. Yeah, it's obviously, guys, you know, if you are doing any kind of filming like this, I mean, this is pretty dangerous stuff. Your best to sort of think of your footholds before uh, filming quality, you know, but... Here they go! I've got a much better bit for you. Is that bit's rubbish? There's a gap up here, and I almost saw it, but I used my country boy shovel. Your country boy shovel. Oh yeah, there is a bit broken right in the middle, isn't there? Here she comes, look at her. Yeah, so here we are down at the cave side now. We're just up over there. Got a wee bit more shelter for the wind up here. Yeah, because that one goes way up, look. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, Emily's on flip-flop mode, look. You managing, woman? 
here she comes. I am keeping my eye out for crabs here, but we're not seeing any, are we yet, guys? Not, not any decent ones, anyway. One thing I've is a crab on. See, I think this is the one we couldn't get to last time, because as you can see, aye, we tried to get. Up. We really fail. That's right, because as you can see, look with the seaweed, it's still wet up in there. Probably gets no sun actually. Oh, look at that. Way! Come on, crabs, where are you? Where's all the crabs up, people? Oh, there's another uh, an enemy. An enemy. An enemy. Is that what that red ones are called, yeah. isn't it? That, you can put your finger Jellyfish. on them and they won't see you. Oh, no, they're fine, those ones. See, you just the odd time you think there'd be a crab being pushed up in here somewhere. Like a really big bad boy. It's a hit or a miss. If he's going to be anywhere, he's going to be hiding in the shadows, isn't he? Not seeing anything. Not seeing anything. Too big. Too big. Oh, it's really nice over this side, isn't it? Back over to where we were earlier. Find some more anemones. Find some more anemones, son. Yeah, if you ever see red things, those are anemones. And if you see one of those with like, like little tentacles coming out, yeah, that's called a sea anemone. Ah, hermit crab in there. Because I saw him move. Where is he? Him there. Just pick it up and what's the face now? I thought I saw. Something just. No, it's probably it's not... a sea snail. Can you see that there? Oh, maybe my eyes are playing tricks on me. Look, here's one that opens. Here's one right here, like they're just slimy. Enemies feel weird. You want to put your finger in one that only sucks on it, and it kind of feels. Funny. Yeah, so we're just headed back. So as you can see, looking underneath here, this is where we've got all the rocks for our fish tank, actually. Now look at that. Eh? I keep looking for crabs in these little pools, but I haven't seen any yet. Yeah, there's I suppose you... not any in here, but there's probably in the other ones. You need like a, a, a net, a little net, you know? Yeah, we need a wee net. But just a wee bit of scale, there's the kids. Look, look at this lovely big rock pool here. Got a wee breath of, breath of wind. Just art. You know what I mean? It's just art. That's all it is. Absolutely beautiful. Nice. Hey, nice rock pool. That is beautiful. Deep as well. Deep for a rock pool. But yeah, they're kind of still making their way across. We're many four bags. Four bags. Just not me. Like, I'm... And so we're back, like, back in the water. They're loving it. And there she goes, there he goes. Oh, it's just nice, lots of tide coming back in again now. Big wave, big ish wave for them anyway. But hey! It's another couple, seems like every maybe fourth or fifth wave's a decent one. Yeah, they've just said the five more minute warning. You know, they are like... Ooh! That Emily is some woman, people, let me tell you. Oh, David is as well, though. Yeah, so let's try filming on the way back. The wind's a bit behind me. So sorry about the camera work, guys. I'm just trying to watch my feet. Very grippy, though. Very grippy. But as you can imagine, if you fell down onto that, you're, you're going to break something. Always hoping to see some big crab in there. But of course, like I said, if they're if they're in there, they'll be underneath that seaweed, won't they? You really need a net for all of that. And they're on their way. They're on their way. Yeah. Oh, you'll soon cool off now you're out the water.
They are making their way. A bit dirtier up here. Obviously the tide's not coming in far enough just now. That's quite those rock pools are actually quite dirty. Yeah, I don't think the water's been up here much. The ecosystem's got its own way though, it'll soon clear it'll soon clear all that up. There they go. Oh yes, but it's all kind of come away here. The tides obviously has ripped through that over the over the months and years. One last little look, eh? Well, no. Third last little look. Ten men who ends, eh? Ten men who ends. Look at the state of this, guys. And she's still, she's still wet. Now I would be sick by now. <laughs> be like a fountain. Daddy would just spray all over the place. Is he focused on something that's not my finger? Don't make you dizzy. Okay, here you go. Right, guys, my bum's got a little bit big lately, so I'm actually a bit jammed here. Here we go. Right off the end. Yes! Oh, look at this, eh? Look at this. It's a shame some of them are gone. That'd be a nice wee photo, that actually. So that's us up above, and that's heading west. That used to be, like I said, the old coastal railway that goes up into Berg Head. And actually, down from the offices used to be the train station, actually, or the train tracks. And obviously, then look, we're away that way. It takes us to Holtman. And people used to use the train all the time, because back then, not everybody had cars, you see. All right, wait for me, son. Wait, 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 wait. He's not going to be stuck for long, you guys. No, I'm not going to carry it. I could break his legs. I only about 15 stone just now, so I better not. 15 stone at 30 mile an hour wouldn't be nice. Shorts are almost down, look. Brick his bum. Here we go. Off the end. Oh, no. How did I get off the end the last time? Oh. Uh.